every time Georgia Tech needed a big play, he was the guy responsible for it. It was this guy who had been lightly recruited, who people thought was too short to play the position, to be effective, and you know, all he did was make plays. He was everything I ever imagined. Just his work ethic was so inspiring. And it, you know, he really propelled us to the success we had just watching him work because you know you didn't want to let Joe down. I may be the leader, but I'm in this foxhole. You know, I'm not outside pointing and pointing and telling you to do something that I'm not willing to grind about. Hamilton, lots of time, going deep. Campbell, go! He'll score! Touchdown, Georgia Tech! And here we are, right here. This is where it started. A little nervous 18-year-old boy turned into a man, not only in this field with life lessons, but everything that was instilled into me. I feel honored to be back here again, man. It's just, uh, it just gives me chills every time. To the 20, foot race, to the 10. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. All the memories come back, uh, especially in the fourth quarter, uh, especially when, when, when we need the energy. Uh, I can tell you about Georgia Tech fans, uh, they're ready to go. Every time you come in on Saturday night afternoon, 12 o'clock game, 3.30 game, 7.30, they're ready to go. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. This place is deafening. Every memory. Now, I'm, I'm glad you brought me out here because it, it feels really good to be back and understand where it all started, uh, where the opportunity started and, and, and grew. Uh, it's just a great, great feeling. He lifted people up. Uh, he made the people around him want to play harder. He made people like me want to work harder because uh, we saw in him the, the desire to be better uh, as a person, as a player, in everything that we did. He just lifted everybody up. In 99, the Heisman campaign started and he never let up. Now, he got the invite to New York and obviously was the runner up, but he never let up in the whole process. He was the guy who had all the pressure and, and still made the plays. I mean, he never backed off the fact that he was the guy and he knew he was the guy. Just being a part of that, a small part of that, is truly like one of the greatest things. We didn't run just a specific offense. We, he used all the weapons he had to you know, get the biggest out of all of us. Never in a, in a thousand years you would, you're saying, I'm gonna be a finalist for a Heisman. What you talk about national champions and Super Bowl, you know, but you don't ever think individual. And from a little small town, you know, 500 people, you're talking about Alvin to, to New York for the Heisman. It, it was all about what, you know, symbolized my whole life was talking about hope. I've never seen a great athlete, great player that didn't have the deep competitive gene. Joe hated to lose drills. He was never satisfied. Once he knew he had the, the capability and the explosiveness and could be that kind of guy for, for Georgia Tech, he never sat back and said, oh, I got this figured out. Hamilton with time and a man open in the end zone. That's Myers. Football is life marked off in 100 yards. When you're talking about adversity, passion, success, failures, commitment, sacrifice, all those things are, is what it's about. I mean, it's life lessons. And if you use it and, and, and you take me out of it sometimes, and you know, that's one thing I love about football as well. It forces you to, to take me out of it. Not too many people get a chance to say they play with the Hall of Fame. You know, the toughness he had, the, the competitiveness, like the no quit, just the fight to the end. And the thing that you need is right here, and that's the heart. And that's something that Joe had, and that's what helped propel him to, you know, becoming a college Hall of Famer, becoming, you know, one of the greatest college football players to ever played this game. I was fortunate enough to be with him in this room uh, when that announcement was made, and it was great joy. I mean, but it was something that was deserved. I mean, uh, you, you think about people that go through different scenarios in life. I mean, he earned that and deserved it, and we couldn't have been more happy for him and more proud of him. This institute means a lot to me, Georgia Tech, and uh, that brought more attention, more notoriety here to the school. You know, just for whatever reason, that, that's a total package. I was a cog in that to get us back to where we need to be as far as a national, you know, you know, uh, prestigious, prominent 
you know, contender, yeah. it was just big because everybody involved, man, I felt that everybody got into the college, fo college football hall of fame and it was just a great moment. It is a bomb burner. It is a bomb burner, JoJo. I told you, you sign up for this thing right here now, this game of football. Be ready for a bomb burner. Back pedal from that line. Back pedal from that line, when you get to me, same thing. Turn and drop, spin out to the right. Head and eyes downfield. Good, 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 good. I love sharing knowledge because I remember when the light bulb went off for me. It's not reinventing the wheel. You know, I want you to be able to go from, you know, Atlanta, Georgia to, Hollywood, California, and that guy said, oh, I know that drill. Because that means it's fundamentally sound, and we're gonna run it and run it and run it, but we're gonna be fundamentally sound. We're gonna do the little things very, very, very well. Footwork is a big thing. Um, arm motion is a big thing. And just, he stresses leadership a lot too, as well. The team follows you, so if you're having a bad attitude, that can reflect on the team. But if you're, if you're being positive, even, even if you have to hide it, even if you're having a bad day, you just gotta be positive Man, and the team so will follow proud. with that. You're making me so proud. Hey, now, now. And those things really impact you, that you feel that you have a value and that you can give back. And um, I think every single time I have the, the opportunity to give back with the platform that I've been given, uh, what I've been given, oh God, uh, I'm lucky. But it's one final common goal to win, to come together, to bond. And that's what football teaches you, man. No matter who you are, where you come from, that we can get in almost in a melting pot type deal uh, to be successful. Did you give it your all? And uh, sometimes uh, in some certain situations, that's winning.